Okay, it's the Cedar Workshop again. This time I thought I'd uh, do a little short video on my batteries, how I have my batteries set up. So anyway, they're in this box with a hinge. That I made out of plywood. And it's painted on the inside, so it's just easy to clean, except for the, the lid. See here I got a open some clothes. I just get a little bunchy cord here that keeps it secure. Now, I've gone with my situation. I went with uh, six volt batteries that are tied together to create 12 volts. So, for example, here's a six volt, here's a six volt. And then over here, See if we can get some light on there. This is the positive. This is the negative. And it's tied together with this um, big uh, cable here. Picked these up off of eBay. Another chap that had a battery bank and he was selling them off. It's fantastic. Nice and crimping job. Everything was done. I was really happy with that. And then over here, here's a six volt. There's a six volt, there's a positive, and there's a negative. And they're tied together to create the 12 volts. Now what I've done is taken the, so this is in theory is 12 volt, this is 12 volt, and then I've tied the negative, negative together, and positive, and positive together. So. Now, in theory, I think these are, batteries are supposed to be 150 amp hours each, but really, tell you the truth, that's just marketing. Um, I would lightly go by that gauge. When I set up my uh, my meter, I went with, um, I rated them at 100 amp hours each. Uh, you basically set yourself up for disappointment if you're just your battery system really isn't working the way you think it is. Now, for example, today is October, I think, 27th, um, and uh, it's minus 3 outside, and I've noticed a significant change in the batteries. Uh, I mean, they're doing well, but they just don't uh, hold their juice as well. So anyway, over here is the shunt system, and there's a negative tied in here. And then... Uh, I, can't, I think down the side there is positive. But anyway, it, it acts as a bit of a... It helps with the meter. Now, over here, there's not much room, is my inverter. And you see the wires go through here, through the wall. I position my inverter as close as I can to my batteries, but I wanted them outside my box, so if anything, uh, any uh, hydrogen was created inside. I don't have electrical uh, current or possible spark setting off things. Now, over here is my venting system. So, if the lid is closed, you can see there's this would be the top of when the lid is closed. So the hydrogen would build up. Hydrogen rises, comes to the top, and this way it can go down here and it goes out, out, up, above, and then it vents out the top. The little pipe here is for the cold air. Now, you can't really see. Let me see if I can shine a light onto that. Can't really see, but. So, the cold air comes in from outside and is vented down, like down around the bottom of the of the battery box. So, the, so this way it kind of creates a bit of a vacuum. I've tried my best to uh, tape up any holes uh, with, with duct tape or insulation or something. So that way. I thought that would work best. In my case, uh, then a power vent. Uh, power vents are, are just fantastic, but if uh, you 
don't have enough juice to run them, then you're going to have a buildup of hydrogen. Now, I'm sure everybody makes their boxes differently, but this system works good for me. Something that's passive, because I'm not here all the time. Now, you see there's a little bit of insulation in here. I don't like to leave it wide open uh, in the wintertime, because really I'm not going to get like the high amps in the wintertime, like, you know, 15 amps, uh, creating a lot of hydrogen. So I just put a little bit of insulation in, just to kind of leave just like that much open. Uh, I just feel better about that. So anyway, today I'm going to check the I'd, uh, check the water levels on my batteries. So what I've done is I've taken some snow outside and melted it. I'm going to then run it through this cloth to filter it all out and then put it inside a plastic container and then I'll if my batteries need to be topped up I can you should use distilled water that you purchase from the uh, store but in my case I don't have any so you can use rainwater or snow it doesn't uh, I think my dad told me it doesn't contain any minerals and uh, it's just fine 